Almost two years ago, we left it all behind for a chance at the sailing adventure of a lifetime. It has not been smooth sailing since then, but together we are learning and laughing our way through. Our hope is that if we laugh long enough, we can make our merry way around the world. And this... This is a Millennial Falcon. Okay, our plan for the day. So, we are hauling out uh, tomorrow and I would really, really, really like to go for a sail before we go back on land for yet another uh, week or so. Um, obviously we haven't, uh, since coming back from Australia, we haven't uh, really, really gone for a proper sail. We kind of went around the corner, um, but I, so I'm really, really keen to go for a sail. Fortunately, it's not, oh, just as I say this, the wind gen's turned on. Hold on a second. That's better. I was gonna say, there's just no wind around and then the wind gen suddenly just turned on. Um, so, Adam, and he rightly so, says that there's no wind around, it's not really a very good day for sailing. Totally get that, but we need to make some water um, on our engine because we have an engine driven water maker. So we need to make some water before we head into the yard. And I really, really, really just want to go for a sail. So I'm vetoing Adam and we're going for a sail regardless. Aren't we ads? Yeah? It's gonna be <laughs> pissing rain all day. It's pissing rain, there's no wind. We're going, I don't know what we're doing. We're going for a sail. <laughs> The part you're leaving out of this story is that we haul out tomorrow and as far as we know the yard says you're going to take down all your sails. Um, they're going to give us a wash down anyway but they charge two very different rates depending on how dirty your underside is. So I've got to get in the water and clean the hull. I also have to sand the propeller back uh, to bare metal so that when I do decide, like as soon as we hit the yard we're straight to work and I don't have to spend time sanding. Which is kind of how I had envisaged us spending the day, Miss Parker. I want to go sailing! We're going sailing. Wash hands. Everyone else is going to understand me. They're like, no, they're not going to be like, oh, Adam's so grouchy. They'll be like, right? With the cushions. Oh, <laughs> everywhere. The sole purpose in life is to be moved. <laughs> so why don't we just be done with it? Just in time for the rain to start. Bit wet. Beautiful day for a sail, huh? <laughs> wait, for, wait for the rain to be released? Just a little, yes. You should. <laughs> well, now that we're all teed up and ready to go, I want to go. And of course, it's, the rain is like properly sweeping through now. I think it was due to like dissipate by 11 but incidentally that's when the wind is dying off as well which is okay because we just want to go out and get moving around so you know, it's not the end of the world if we have to motor sail um, we only want to and we want to make water anyway so yeah whilst I don't want to motor sail everywhere all the time we're gonna make water and we want to get moving and get something life off the bottom of the boat my yeah, hope is that if yeah. we can like get a give it a little bit of a bashing oh um, so is this off. actually your ploy to make the job point. easier it was a fringe, later. A fringe benefit. Okay. At best. Yeah, you come on. We've only been here for like, what, four days? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's the first time the chain's been in the water in months. Oh, look at it. It's disgusting. It's never, ever, ever done that. Ever. Not, not when we've been at anchor for weeks. It hasn't yeah. done that. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to clean, like try to clean it at least. God. Terrible. We'll just pour buckets and scrub and yeah. just do it five feet at a time. Yep. Oh, I just came up from downstairs. It stinks downstairs. Smell from our anchor locker. So we have um, slats over where our anchor locker is downstairs, um, and you can s and it, then the smell from the chain actually like permeates throughout the rest of the boat. So if you're in a bit of a stinky anchorage, it really smells downstairs.
Almost there. Almost there. Our main's up. Now we're going to turn the engine down and we're going to make some water. Well, there is indeed not a breath of wind, just as Adam predicted. <laughs> it's really nice though to actually just be out, out on the water anyway, and uh, another anchor. So even if it's just been a little while out here, it's still better than nothing, definitely. So we're back on anchor now in, uh, in Prickly Bay. Um, now what we noticed um, when we were out was that uh, inside downstairs it was smelling a little bit of rubber and when we went to check uh, Adam checked on the alternator and the alternator belt was quite loose and was getting lots of um, of dust everywhere belt dust I think um, so when we've gone back to onto anchor we've Adam is now down there now um, just making sure that or just trying to do a few adjustments to it um, we'll go speak to him for details because I'm not sure and I'm making some food so that when we were in the yard we don't starve. Yeah. What you doing there buddy? Dodgy work. What's going on? Um, I'm just taking out the alternator belt. Commence blue and pink jobs. jumping in the water and we are going to clean a little bit of the hull. We've realised that first of all we probably won't have time to do all of it today and secondly when we go into the marina they need to always, they pretty much always do a pressure wash on our boat anyway of course we need to pay for that. So both of us were thinking why would we put a lot of effort into scrubbing our hull for hours and hours and hours when we need to pay for a pressure wash anyway. Uh, yeah, so. Let's go in. And we're putting on wetsuits because that chain was grotty and I do not know what's in the water. <laughs> I don't really want to go swimming. Might recommend earplugs too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a really good idea. How's it working out for you though? Bit oh. squeezy? I think it's strong. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you wore that? When we went diving in character before we left. So any change in the size of this wetsuit is a direct result of being at home. <laughs> Any change no. in the size of the wetsuit, not it's, you. Yeah, no, not me. <laughs> it's shrunk, clearly. <laughs> All right, let's go in the water. How is it? Oh. Good? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's All actually right. quite nice because it's so freaking hot up there and in the wetsuit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cold, cold, cold. Oh, okay. Suck it up, Yara. Let's do this. Now we see below the water line. <laughs> Just swimming in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm scrubbing again. It makes it work. <laughs> it's like a freaking wild man with those fins. I can't. The whole, like, I've got my big walrus suit on, so I can't <laughs> stay down. I just keep floating. <laughs> this is hitting me every time I go past. Oh, you're very much underfoot. <laughs> You're frightened in the water. I'm underfin. <laughs> okay, we have done a good hour or so, Wes. Um, and it's, it's pretty bad under there. I just think they're going to charge us. They're going to charge us for the pressure washing, right? Um, at least it's not embarrassingly dirty now. Yeah, true. Sure. Yeah, I guess now I need to get out the water and clean these little bugs off. They're like little baby shrimps. I feel like this is like this is really like a my my office. Uh, okay, so we just got a message. Um, now, oh my god, what is with these planes? <laughs> Every time I start talking, oh, please hold. 
Okay, I think we're good. All right, so um, last episode, we told you guys that we were going to get Adam's sister and uh, brother-in-law uh, out with us. We have spoken to them today, and because uh, this uh, coronavirus thing is getting a little bit crazier than probably all of us thought, they are currently in Costa Rica. They're meant to be meeting us in two weeks. And anyway, they've just messaged us saying that they're changing their flights because if they wait any longer, they might not actually get to us. So they're changing our flights and they're gonna be arriving here tomorrow evening instead. Um, now tomorrow, that means we have a massively busy day. We have to get hauled out. So we have everything to do in the morning to get hauled out. We have to actually get hauled out. We've got to start working on the boat. We're gonna go and see um, John Kreshmer and Taji, his wife, um, later on to have a little chat with them. Then we go back and. And, uh, and pick up Claire and Sean. Massive day tomorrow, really, really big. Um, thankfully, we'll have some help the next day. <laughs> oh, that's true. I didn't think yeah. about that. Four things so are now, just going to be. Any time we've lost on Monday picking them up, we'll get we'll make back twice. Exactly. Over yeah, because we now have four hours. sets of hands. Um... Good morning, everybody. It's bright and early here in Grenada. It's haul out day, 6.20. It's haul out day. We're, um, we've been up, got up pretty early, as we do now. See how long that lasts. Um, yeah, we've got uh, 10 a.m. haul out, just at the marina here in Prickly Bay. Um, we said this last night, but I cannot believe that Claire and Sean are gonna be with us tonight. So long story short, my sister and her brother-in-law are on a, a, a gap year. I've been saving for this thing for years, years. Of course, 2020 gap year, global pandemic. <laughs> They're on a plane, they get here at 10 o'clock tonight, so we've got a massive day, a massive day. So we've got a, a haul out at 10, we've got a, um, we've just got the full day in the yard or doing as much as we can. So I'd like to try and get the, the old propeller off today so that I have like a really quick start tomorrow, um, installing the new one. Um, then we have a, we're doing a bit of an interview of sorts, uh, trying to dig out as much wisdom from our friends, John and Taji as possible. So I'm gonna sit down with him for an hour or so and have a little fireside chat interview thing uh, tonight on his boat Quetzal uh, and then we have to go straight from there out to the airport to pick up my sister and brother-in-law uh, very packed at 9 day. so a massive so up at mm. 4 30 yep. probably bed by midnight yeah, I know. <laughs> and we then have a nap. first thing in the morning back on the tools in the yard it's going to be yeah. a big couple of days yeah. but uh yeah we're itching to get moving and get all of our ducks in a row yeah so we can get free and clear of all this mm. boat work and start having some, start doing some miles or as many miles as we can do with all the borders closed. So we, uh, so when we first bought our boat, we expected to kind of like get sailing, get racing around. Um, and then throughout our time, throughout our experience, we've learned that not only do you need to go slow, but things take a lot longer than usual. So we're estimating that we'll spend about five days in the yard and that's to take our propeller off, put a new one on, and also paint the bottom. When Adam says that uh, he's hoping to get the propeller off today, in my head, I'm thinking that <sighs> to, just, <laughs> to just get a mere little propeller off, possibly will take about two days to three days. Yeah, so, the real challenge will be yeah. not breaking any bolts. That's true, that's, that's true. true. That's when things go from like a quick job yeah. to a, a disastrous three or four day or, ordeal. Yep. So, yeah, that, that's the trick. It's not don't break anything while you're doing a yeah, little exactly. tiny quick job. Yeah. Just, you know, do it clean, do it smooth. Yep. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Yesterday, we, we came up here yesterday on our morning walk and uh, we didn't have a camera with us. 
and I went charging up to the edge of this to have a look and very quickly realized that I was standing over what I later discovered was a massive overhang. I'm not really sure what kind of rock that is or how secure it is. <laughs> when I got far, when I got around here and saw how concave it was underneath, I was like, oh, I'm not going out there a second time. So suffice to say, we stay very much towards the wall <laughs> on the way in and out this time. When we got back to the boat, we started preparing for our haul out by folding down our solar panels, attaching fenders and mooring lines and hauling the dinghy. Do we need to practice your rope showing? Oh, always. <laughs> Guns can handle it, that'll be fine. This is how not to anchor in a mooring field. Well, the wind was like 180 degrees the other way when we came in. Yeah. We've been doing circles all the time for the last 12 hours. So I definitely would have moved if we if we weren't going to be leaving in an hour. Yeah. To haul out. So. All right. I guess it's time. Been uh, bobbing around, doing bits here and there, and finally, I think we can we can head into the jetty and uh, and get our boat pulled out. Uh, yeah, things are definitely going to plan this morning. Uh, if anything, they're going too much to plan and we are whizzing through everything. We've es we obviously woke up ridiculously early and estimated that everything would take about two hours to kind of pack up and it's ended up taking us about half an hour, 45 minutes maybe. So uh, we have 12 minutes until we need to be there. We're looking pretty good on time. We always get a bit nervous when we come to docking, so we'll try and film as best we can, but we might be putting the camera down but we run around frantically. <laughs> My hands are shaking. How much does it weigh? 18 tons. <laughs> 18 tons of pure boat. Pure awesomeness. <laughs> <laughs> What's the other side like? Yeah. Oh. Just make it look really easy. If only it was easy in the water. I need to get one of those scrapers. Metal scraper. Yeah. Long, a big one. giving it a really good wash down which is awesome because I thought we were going to have to clean it quite a lot. I'm almost embarrassed to be out of the yard with this nice of a paint job. It's like why am I in, out of the water again? But that's good. It's one less thing to have to do. Save you, save us half a day Yeah. on the sander. I reckon you just have to rough it up and we'll throw in a few extra coats on there for good measure and call it a day. Oh, I am exhausted. Should we have a nap? Have a nap. 
I'm gonna put a photo on Instagram. Okay, I'm gonna say this in, in past tense, but I haven't done it yet. We put a photo on Instagram to see what color bottom everyone thought we should get. So I'm gonna look at the results later and, uh, and we shall see. Them, yeah, of course. Yeah, was yeah. it the same price? Yeah. It's the same price. Why would the I'm... color be different prices? I don't know, sometimes they are. Sometimes people want, like I've seen black is more expensive. Oh really? Provided that the colors are the same price. Because there might be an overwhelming majority voting for canary yellow at a premium thousand dollars a tin or something. In which case, I'm not paying for that. But if it's black no. or blue... We're giving him two options. We're giving you guys two options. Orange, oh, no, oh, not orange. Oh. Blue or black. That's all. Those are your options.